all right, Charlie boy. If you want to animate for us, you're going to have to really wow us with this animation of yours. So go on, show us the good. Show us what you got. All right, so here's the scene. This rampaging robotic bull with a mass of 300 kilograms running through the city at a constant velocity of 500 meters per second, creating widespread chaos. Our hero, Gyro Boy, with a mass of 100 kilograms, starts accelerating at 5 meters per second squared from 100 meters away. Upon reaching the bull, Gyro Boy reaches a velocity of 500 miles per hour as well but it's sent flying in the other direction because his mass was not great enough to phase the bull, and the bull continued to rampage and destroy the town. The end. Well, that was awful. We can't just have Gyro Boy lose. What would the kids think? Um, I, I thought you would say that, so I made this other animation just in case. Wait, how? Gyro Boy may have lost that round, but he wasn't going to let it get him down. So, he took a giant foam wall from his trusty boy belt. Wait, he had that in his belt the whole time? Um, Durr, why do you think he weighs 100 kilograms? And charged at the bull once more with the same acceleration and distance as before. This time, when he reaches the bull, the two of them collide, but Gyro Boy doesn't go flying. Instead, he hangs onto the wall and is carried with the bull. But, the friction of the wall and the ground is too great for the bull, and it begins to slow down until it reaches a full stop. Now here are some free body diagrams to give you a clear explanation as to how this works. This one shows us the forces acting on the bull before the collision. This one shows us the force acting on Gyro Boy, also before the collision. And this one shows us the force acting on both the bull and Gyro Boy at the moment of collision. It looks quite complicated, but don't hurt yourself trying to decipher this, because it's really easy, and it would be really super embarrassing if you hurt yourself over trying to understand this. That was quite the display, but tell me something, shall we boy? How did you figure out the distance the two characters should be moving between frames to create illusion of movement? Hmm, hmm. Wouldn't explaining the illusion kind of ruin the whole Look at the scenery right now, you know? Well, the characters themselves don't move. I moved the background based on how much velocity the bull has and translated to the amount of displacement the character should have to pixels per frame. I did the same for Gyro Boy, except instead of velocity, I translated the background movement to its acceleration. Alright then, it looks like you've proven your worth to animate for our company. I just have one more request. Yeah? Can we have a romantic subplot between the bull and Gyro Boy? What kind of animator would I be if I hadn't totally thought about that already, dude? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.